My name is Gordon McIntosh. Uh, I'm Debbie O'Nions. And I'm Lou Ray. Lovely. And we're here today in your lovely home in Penzance. Tell me a little bit about your house and how you built it, really. Well, uh, we've lived here for over 40 years and it has grown up around us, really. As we had more kids, we needed more space and Gordy was very brilliant at building. So he... With the children, I've got photographs of <laughs> him with these two girls <laughs> lugging great big lumps of granite and stuff. But, yeah. yeah, because you want to, you wanted to live a certain type of life, didn't you? That was off grid and be sort of at one with nature and and enjoy it. So you've you've had to be really independent, haven't you? And really creative. To you were telling me earlier about your compost toilet and. Yeah, we've we've sort of fought to really stay off grid. Mm. Um, we have wind generated lights, yeah. uh, which we love, and uh, compost loo, and um, the water is that 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 was a big investment. We we actually had people come up here to dig us a borehole, and uh, so we pump up the water, and it's the most gorgeous cold water we're so lucky we're mm. so lucky to have got this house yeah we, we also collect water from the roof too yeah. as well isn't it so we, rain water we, we don't put all our eggs in one basket you know it's quite nice really yeah. yeah and you were telling me earlier as well that you're artists and you love yes. to paint so yeah yeah yes a bit yes, uh, we right. like to live sort of alternatively in all ways mm. really I mean, if ever there's anything that needs fixing, Gordy will... I mean, like mm. the the radio um, antennae thing, that's a Gordy. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of bamboo from the garden. <laughs> but your circumstances in recent years have changed, haven't they? So, yeah, it... Gordy, would you like to explain what happened for you um, with your diagnosis? Yes, well, I, I noticed that uh, after... All going for a walk after about three miles on my uh, walking got a bit wobbly and then so then I was diagnosed with uh, MS mm -hmm. and uh, and fortunately it, it is very slow and when the doctor s said you're lucky because it's very slow I said oh am I lucky but I, I can see the benefit now because you've got time to come to terms with it yeah mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're suddenly hit with what well, I am like now, all of a sudden mm. it would be very psychologically, I think, very difficult mm. to cope with. But but you've got time to come to terms with it, which is, which, uh, yeah, yeah, which I, well, I've, I'm, I'm doing mm. and I have done, so that's, that's good. Yeah. And you and Lou have been, like, really strong for each other, but Lou, you've also had your own, you were telling me earlier, yeah. like your own sort yeah. of... Physical that, problems, mm. yes. Yeah. So, well, I had a hip replacement, and I, my spine is crumbling, and yeah, I find okay. walking quite hard. And then I've got um, crest syndrome, all these things that I don't really want to mm. own up to having because I try and stick my head in the sand and deny it. But uh, I mean, you know, I don't know if we're here to promote Debbie and what she does, yeah. but it's really made such a difference to have her input into our sort of ageing life because uh, it's given us hope to be able to stay here and carry on living here because you know if you've lived in a way where you really try and and tread as lightly as you can on the planet and and suddenly, because you're getting old, people come up and say, well, I don't know that you can carry on living here. It's tough. Whereas Debbie's been, well, yes, of course you can carry on living here and we'll help you. We'll, you know, make it possible and do as much as we can for your health and to enable you to both stay mobile. And yeah, it's made a huge difference. Huge Having having the personal health budget that you've had, you've said, has made a huge difference, but do you think it's also made a positive impact and helped 
NHS resources in the long run. So we talked about... Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it has because, um, I mean, I've not been to the doctors for ages, years, and Gordy hardly ever goes. Uh, we can sort of, you know, it's almost like we can cope with what's going on with the help, the alternative help that mm. we get. I think it's maintained Gordon's mobility. Yes. You know, it's been a big thing for you, hasn't it, about staying mobile and... Mm. And the physio has definitely helped you yes. stay stronger, hasn't it? Y yes, that's right. Yes, giving me the yeah, and knowing what to do and giving me the right exercises to do. Mm. It's, it's been perfect. Yes. And also, it sounds like you've had some good times as well. Like <laughs> you know, you've been able to laugh when probably you know before you maybe was so overwhelmed by everything that you were trying to cope with that you didn't get that opportunity to do that as much maybe. yeah i think so yeah. i think it's helped our mental state as well yeah that's well, right I think knowing there's other people around that support us too and, and and could understand about what we believe in living here and mm -hmm. and, and the benefits psychologically i think of living here mm. I think like Janet Hay, the herbalist, she comes to see you here, doesn't yes, she, which, which helps. Yes, which is lovely. And, um, and that's another support, is it somebody else yeah. coming into yeah. the, the home, um, having another insight into your health, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. She does Gordy's feet and he lies on my bed, which is now downstairs. And uh, it's all I can do to get him off the bed afterwards. <laughs> He's <laughs> completely <laughs> crashed Very out by it. It's yes. so wonderful. Yeah. You nominated Debbie for the Queen's Award, which is a very high award. Um, why did you do that? Well, because of the difference that she's made and the, the sort of intensity of her input has been so good. It's, it's way above doing a job she's you know she's really I really feel she supports us and believes in us and wants to help us and you know I mean that's a rare thing it's you don't often meet lovely Debbies and Debbie I can tell that you've um, developed a really strong bo bond with um, Lou and Gordon I mean what what has it been like for you to be able to spend time with them and, and help support them I think as you know, as a nurse, often you know, I feel you know like I have the best job in the world, and that because I do get to spend time with the people that I support, and I, I'm aware there's a lot of nurses that don't get that time, you know. But it it is key. It's really vital to spend time getting to know somebody and um, finding out about their dreams and wishes and what's important to them, and you know because that's the only way we can get it right you know because otherwise if we we rush in and rush out and we put our thoughts our judgments our feelings on a situation then it's then it's not going to work you know and and it will it will fall about apart quite quickly for people so you know it's a real privilege you know just to you know meet people like Lou and Gordon and and they're very inspiring in the way they live and um and I think as well, it's about um, they're incredibly generous, kind people in their lives, and I think it's about you know recipro reciprocating that really, you know, and and that actually is a if, this is probably going to sound really corny, but you know, for me, being a nurse is a way of life. So it's it's it, it's um, it all come. It's it's about loving people, isn't it? And and about common humanity, and actually that that. Um, you know, I wouldn't go home and feel good about life if I didn't try my best for the people that I, you know, I'm paid to support. So that's kind of, you know, and and not, yeah. What a treasure! So, <laughs> so yeah, they're amazing. <laughs> so yeah.